Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Clueless, the series. Watch through with me. Um, episode 10, not really sure what to expect. I feel like we're due for a clip show. And if that happens, I'm just gonna skip it, because I mean, why would you wanna watch a clip show commentary? Um, yeah, episode 10, let's see what happens. We haven't had a school dance in a little bit. I uh, recently had a heart to heart with her dad, so I'm guessing there's a dance in this episode. Um, hopefully some good costumes. I mean, which are surprisingly hit or miss Southwest. with the series. So you hit or miss my face is a little weird right now, but I mean, it's filming this at night and my lighting is set for the day. Whatever, you guys don't care. Ah, a driving lesson, let's watch. Left turn from a two-way street onto a one-way street. Right turn from a one-way street to a two-way street. This is supposed to make sense. Jasmine just transferred here from New York, and I think she's still a little jet laggy. Aww. Mr. Dunny. Brittany Murphy cameo. That's nice. Went to a T intersection. Am I allowed to make a U turn? Cause that's two different letters. Hey, Jasmine. 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 Hey, we're just gonna go straight to our first train. I film. can think of so many Wheels people and cities, tragedy. cities worth of people Remember, that would probably ask the same stupid question. This reminds me of when I was in high school. I think I was in grade eight or nine, and they showed us a video about this drunk driver that. This woman that was hit by a drunk driver, and it was so messed up that I didn't really eat for a few days. I remember being like actually shook. Um, kids would say, "Yeah, it was pretty messed up." Postpone this whole driving thing, like till we're thirty. Hello, Mr. Dunn. Remember another time they actually did. My high school did one of these. Oh, I don't know. Unless what the hell they were thinking. <laughs> but they faked a car crash in front of the school and then they told the students that two of the students okay, had died. And everyone's like, oh my god, there was a drunk driving accident. They had the jaws of life and everything, but it was just fake to tell people like, hey, don't drink and drive, but it was pretty messed up. So yeah, to all you youngins watching this, in the 90s, they really tried to traumatize you. Did I miss Wheels of there was no trigger warning. Your teachers could just pretend your colleagues were all your colleagues, your classmates were all dead at a moment's notice. Ah, so because we have Brittany Murphy uh, playing a friend in this, Amber has to be in the bully role. As we've discussed multiple times, Amber's character only exists to progress the plot. And they will change her entirely based on what the show needs. Property. Who's going to arrest us, the landscaper? <laughs> oh well, now the freeway is my oyster. And while you pedestrians are scrambling around trying to find a ride, I will be driving. <laughs> to all the parties and handsome men. That is Brittany Murphy, right? Because I'm watching a really blurry old copy of this as I'm sure everybody would be now. I don't even know if there is a high def version of Clueless the series. Anyways, I'm only like 95% sure that's Brittany Murphy because I can barely tell. And how have I not commented on Cher's hair yet? I mean, I shouldn't because I'm feeling really gross. I just keep going like that to my bangs. Um, but yeah, Cher's hair. You kids, you grow up so fast. Ready? I hope so. You'll do fine. Now, driving is a straightforward series of actions. The important thing is to remain calm and focused and to keep your eyes on the road. Now, you start the car, adjust your mirror, look behind you, and back out of the driveway. Okay. And she runs over a groundskeeper. <laughs> I did it, Daddy. I kept the wheel straight and everything. Oh, it's very good, sweetheart. Very good. Uh, maybe now you might want to turn the wheel. Uh, 
See, that was, I don't know, I find that quite funny because it was subtle. It's just like a subtle, dumb, obvious joke. Like, looks like she should go straight, but she goes over the curb. And who else could not listen to Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood without thinking it was Elander? Also, this means another episode that I can't monetize. Like, in theory, I could cut out the songs, but it just... I don't like to wreck somebody else's art, and yes, I'm referring to a sitcom as somebody else's art. This song, like, really does not fit the scene. Lyrically or musically. I can't do this. Never again, Cher. Never again. Okay. Before the Gucci can make a left turn, it has to wait for the Anna Sui and the Charles David to clear. See? D, I destroyed public property. And I dented Daddy's car. It was a menace. And, and he just kept on yelling at me, never again, never again. Well, I guess not, Cher, but you know, it's really hard. They put those signs in weird places and you were probably... At the time, my dad tried to teach me to drive a system. standard and, system. long story short, I still do not know how to drive standard. No. Rear view, side view, glance, signal, scan. I'm comprehending. Side view, glance, signal, scan. Is he supposed to be in the same grade? For some reason I thought the guys were a year younger, which would make them 14, which would be very odd. I mean, I, no one believes any okay, of these characters at 15. Wait, so if he is, he's teaching her, then he's, is he a year older there than her? Because they're not the same. Oh my god. I can't figure out this clueless lore character stuff. So many inconsistencies, and like, who knows what's. Yeah, I need to rewatch the movie. Just speaking of the movie, I'm thinking about when I'm done the first season of the show, doing like a full in-depth review of the movie and how it like, inspired Mean Girls and blah blah blah. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in that, if you're interested in seeing a full review of the movie. Majorly unsupportive. I am way offended for you. Thanks. Hey, Cher. I hear you're bringing your redecorating skills. Okay, here's a little yeah. inconsistency I'm thing. You find my vehicular shortcoming so Cause wait, was that a flashback? Oh, look, Cher, anyway, I feel like Cher like should be in a different like costume right now. Start out. You know, I never told anybody, but the first time Mel took me out. Is that the tidal bomb topiary incident? I think I heard about that. <laughs> Well, Mel was ranting about it for days after you left for your mom's. Well, the point is, why don't I take you out for a couple of lessons, you know? I, I know Mel could be a hothead. Josh, that's way Mother Teresa of you. But I'm not getting behind the wheel. I'm a complete driving doofus. Well, uh, I'm here if you need me, all right? Just let me know. Yeah, or, you know, you just say no, you don't want to take driving lessons from your stepbrother that you hooked up with. Observation. Cher and I are just different Maybe people. The stepbrother is right. I mean, it's probably our respective instructors. I bet if we went and took our tests, we would so fully be in the passing lane. Maybe you. No, both of us. I know if we went down tomorrow and took our tests, we would so fully pass. <laughs> Did 
Well, let's see. You oh, wow. Tried the school bus. You drove the Gilbert, wrong way down the freeway. Gilbert Godfrey. You down 16 pedestrians. Oh, and by the way, here in America, we usually don't wear pajamas to our So how many of you are aware that that is not his and real your voice? English final is in five minutes and you completely forgot He, he literally stuff. used that fake voice for his entire career. There's like one interview out there, I don't remember if it was Howard Stern oh, or what, but yeah, Gilbert Please. Godfrey does not sound like that. Do I'm doomed to be a non-driving freak. Neither Dean nor I could muster the courage. Kind of like Vin Diesel, he doesn't sound like the way he does in movies either. Obviously, we needed I definitely back. never want to base my entire career okay. off of having a different now, voice. I've made DMV appointments for you all to take your tests next week. And I'm sure if you be so practice, consistent, you can pass easily. Jasmine, let's start with you. Okay. Well, there's always Madonna. It took her six movies to finally land the role of Evita. And no one even remembers Shanghai. Surprise. And then there's JFK. He failed the bar eight times before he finally got his magazine. It's not like we're the only ones chasing our license. That's right. There's always Jasmine. Hey, you! Would you move it? I haven't got all day! Oh, Brittany Murphy. R.I.P. Like, man. She was so talented and, yeah. The whole mold thing with her death is pretty damn weird, huh? Yeah, I'm dropping so many truth bones on you guys. Gilbert Godfrey, that was his real voice. Brittany Murphy has a really suspicious death with mold. And apparently Jeffrey Epstein, they're saying his list is coming out in January. Which I don't know when you're listening to this, maybe it's come out already. I doubt the love will reveal anything. It'll be like maybe a few C-list celebrities that flew with him or something that they just they're like, oh that's all it was. Okay, now we're just going to sit here and wait patiently for these cars to clear. Which cars? Oh I hate this. This whole intersection. Oh man, that satin shirt would be so sweaty and gross to wear. The first Especially during a driving okay. test. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you see the cars there on your left-hand side? Yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for them to clear, mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna show them your business, babe. Just go on ahead. Okay. Okay. Go. Don't show them your business. That's a way to get another ticket. So funny i'm watching this and i'm like wow it's so weird that they take a driving test in such a shitty old car and then i'm like oh wait that wasn't old when this was made you are fully capable here i'll help i i i did it Cher, are you feeling a little unconfident never again Cher. never again i am I'm feeling kind of car sick. I don't think I can drive today. But why does your dad's face in like a hedge? Did I miss something? Wow. I had to do a three point. Made me think of that Homer Simpson meme. A U E. Swish. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Ah, nothing but net. High five. <laughs> Shit, check it out. It's a very flattering photo, Jasmine. I came, I saw, I am driving. And that's why we'll never see her in another episode. Cher's like, bye, bitch. You got your driver's license. I want nothing to do with you. I'm free. I'm free. Cher, look. That's a very flattering photo. Okay, that jacket's actually pretty cute, right? Does anyone else like Dion's jacket? Sorry, sweetie, you're not on the insurance. Welcome to the dollhouse, Cher. I am such the cheese standing all alone. Please, I'm being hypersensitive. Nobody notices. Welcome to the dollhouse. Another movie that I think was pretty inspired by Clueless. Are you embarrassed by the picture? No. Oh! <laughs> bad Amber, bad, bad Amber. <laughs> That's right. I just you wish there was a consistency with Amber's test. characters. Like, okay, if she's What's playing the bully, matter, maybe she dresses Are like fragile, shitty, and if she's nice, then she doesn't dress as shitty, but they just give her shitty costumes no matter what. 
I mean, I have seen very, very few costumes that Amber's wearing that are actually, like, decent. Like, it's not fair. She's the one character that, I don't know, they could have some more fun with, but I just feel like her stuff is pretty hack most of the time. Ooh, a little music video montage thing. Love how parts of it, like you can totally see where it cuts out from where the green screen would be. This looks so bad. But you know what? You give them credit for taking a creative chance or a creative risk. Now, don't forget the next chapter in world literature uh, for next week. Uh, Sartre's no exit. Cher? Is something wrong? No. I'm fine. Aren't you going to be late for your next class? Uh, driver's ed, isn't it? Well, I'm the only one left. Oh, well, that's uh, nice. Be like a uh, private tutorial. Oh, Mr. Hall, it's so pathetic. I can't do it. Everyone else can, and I can't. I'll never drive. Uh, Cher, did you read last week's assignment in uh, Don Quixote? It is, you know, funny thinking distress. back to when you're younger and something like that can feel like such a big deal, like, oh, I didn't get my license Everybody this week, I have to wait till next week, I'm a piece of shit. But, yeah, then you get it and you forget that you had such a struggle and you move on. Oh, do you mean like happy things from Holland? Like tulips and clogs and Gouda? Well, let's look in the book. See, in chapter 8... Okay, is that like dumb naive share there, or is that oh, that's right. sociopathic share? Because as we've discussed before, there's pretty much two shares in the series. Are windmills giants? No. Or there's one, and then you can just watch the entire show as if she's a sociopath. Oh, Mr. Hall, I really appreciate your. And I don't want to go back and replay what I just said, but I think I use sociopath and so psychopath interchangeably. They are different things, but you guys don't care because this is a clueless watch show, watch through commentary. The answers to our problems. And this show was based off of work of great literature. It wasn't Pride and Prejudice, it was... Happiness for the rest I'm of trying a blank. Oh, even Huna Gardens knows I'll never drive. They keep... Hey, how's the permanent pedestrian? Oh, they keep using these Stop, horrible extensions. Not. Stop. They've been in, what, three or four sure, episodes now? They're so bad. Everybody They're so clearly, test, like, you know? just plastic dollar store shit. Really? No, no, not really. I was just trying to make you feel better. But look what this is doing to you, Cher. You can't let this happen. Come on, I'll go take you out for a drive right now. I can't. Yes, you can. I'll be right next to you. Come on, you're going to do great. Look, Cher, you can do it. Hands on wheel. Yeah, yes. I want to drive in a sunny no, Jeep in I California can't. in the 90s. Right, and be I'll like a rich kid or something. One Starbucks to the next. That's got to be what, about 200 feet? Josh, it's no use. Look, I appreciate it, but I'm just one of those hopeless cases. <sighs> Josh, stop the car. What, you want to drive? No, pull over. And I kind of like her coat. Stop the car. Pull over. Oh, you poor baby. Oh man, I have a dog story, but I think I might actually save that for a podcast or something. Josh, help, listen, I can't carry him, he's too heavy. Hurry! Just picture me being insanely pregnant and running after an insanely small, angry dog. It's a whole thing. God, I have to adjust the lights in here, the shadows and stuff, I am like... I'm very vain, and if I think I look like crap, I'm just gonna keep staring at myself. Can't not do it. Can't not do it.
see that's either a magic dog that taught her how to drive, or she had the ability to drive within her all along. Oh god. <laughs> well, that was an episode. Oh, it's still going. Okay, what do you guys think she got him? I'd say like hair products Dear or Mr. something. Hall. I finally comprehended what you were trying to say. Driving was my windmill, but I overcame my fears and totally aced the driving test. Thanks to you and that coyote guy, I'm now a licensed member of the driving community. What's the gift? Show us. Ah, yes, Don Coyote reference. Okay, great show. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll be back later with episode 11. Okay, bye.